Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here, and the CCNP exams, they are indeed a changing. You need to know about these changes, whether you're wrapping up your NP studies right now, whether you're in the middle, or whether you're even just thinking about it. And let's talk about a couple of things here, and then we'll jump right into what the exact changes are, because a little anxiety, and sometimes more than a little anxiety, always goes along with a certification exam track change. If you've ever been around for a CCMP exam, excuse me, CCNA exam change, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People do tend to freak out, you know, what's on the new exam? I got to beat the deadline. Well, in this video, I'm going to dispel any anxiety you might be feeling about these changes. I'm going to give you the dates of in the new exams, etc. But the first key here is that this is a refresh of the CCNP exams. It is not a total overhaul, as you're going to see in the next couple of minutes. Because the last time there was an NP change, and this has been a couple of years, when they changed to route, switch, and T-shoot, the CCNP used to be a four-exam track. They consolidated it to three exams, which was a great move, and the topics changed pretty radically. That's not what's happening this time. Uh, let's talk about what we need to know about these exam changes. First off, we need to know what the new exams are called. Secondly, and possibly even more importantly, what if you're in the middle of the NP and the exams change? Third, should I wait until February 2015 to start my CCNP studies? Here's your preview, no. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why in this video. The worst thing you wanna do is say, well, I'll just wait until the old exams, the current exams are totally gone, and then I'll just worry about the new ones. Don't do that, and we're gonna talk about why. And fourth, of course, are the new exams way different than the current ones? Well, I've already given you a clue as to that. But let's go over those exam names. Uh, they're not changing at all. It's just the number that's changing. And for those of us who miss really long convoluted exam names like BC, MS, N, N, T, O, that kind of thing, uh, seven or eight words in the exam title, that's long gone. Switch 642813 is going to become the Switch 30115 exam. Route 642902, which is the current version as I record this in August 2014, that's going to become Route 30101. T-Shoot 642832 becomes T-Shoot 30135. Now here's one reason why you shouldn't wait to start your NP studies and why you should continue them definitely if you've already started. But if you just got in your NA or you're about to wrap it up, I really advise you strongly to jump straight into the CCNP while all that switch and route knowledge is fresh in your head. It doesn't matter which of the switch, route, and T-shoot exams you pass. You just need one from each track. Let me show you what I mean by that. For your CCNP routing and switching, which is the full name of the certification, I still call it the CCNP, um, you just you need to pass one of these switching exams either 642 or 813, excuse me, 642, 813, or 300, 115. You need to pass one of these route exams, 642, 902, or 300, 101. Or, and you need to pass one of these T-shoot exams, 642, 832, or 300, 135. The key is that the first exam in each column there, the 642 exams, the last date to take them is January 29th. So you've got plenty of time to take those particular exams. One word of caution, I don't expect there to be a last minute crush on people taking NP exams as there, as there always is with the NA exam. But especially if your training center that you usually test at only has a few seats, don't wait until mid-January to try to schedule one of these 642 exams because you might not be able to get a seat. That's something you definitely want to be cognizant of. Uh, and that would suck, and we do not want suck, we want success, and that's what we're going to get. Now, quickly, I want to mention this, another reason you should start or continue your NP studies right now, I guarantee you'll be a CCNP by January 29th. I'm going to take all that anxiety away, you're not going to even have to worry about the exam changes, we're going to talk more about those in the next few minutes. Because if you don't pass all three exams for any reason with my all-in-one video boot camp on Udemy, you will receive all three of the fully updated exams, exam courses absolutely free. And right now in August, I'm also giving away a C, my CCNA Security Video Boot Camp with any paid purchase on Udemy. And that is indeed a limited time offer. Just give me a moment here to quickly show you that course. And right here, I'll put a link to it from YouTube as well. 
but you're not going to have to lift a finger to get the new videos. What's going to happen is I actually put them right here. I take the old ones down in January uh, and then I start posting the new ones. I'll take these down uh, actually in February once the old exams have passed. But a lot of those videos are still really going to be great study material for you. We're going to talk about that in a moment. But again, if you don't pass all three exams by January 29th, you'll have total access to all three of the fully updated courses right here. And I'm not going to ask you for one more dime for that. And I'm not just going to put a few new videos in and leave all the old ones up. Uh, no one would actually do that, would they? No, nah, they wouldn't do that. I certainly wouldn't. But again, that's a fantastic deal that I want you to check out. Now, it's also valid on my individual route switch and T-shoot courses. If you join any of those for $44, you don't pass that particular exam before January 29, you do get that new exam material absolutely free. Now, let's talk about these refreshes slash changes, however you want to put it. Because the first question is always, you know, what's new on the new exam? And then it's, okay, what's been dropped? Now, I spent several hours earlier today with the PDFs that you can actually get from Cisco. Uh, and it lists individually every single thing that's going to be on the exam, you know, just like the books do. It's all in front. Well, generally speaking, really, the changes just aren't that overwhelming. The only really new things I saw in the new switch uh, output, excuse me, the new switch outline, were SDM templates and stack-wise. And what's still around is, frankly, a lot. Uh, Ether channels, spanning tree, port fast, loop guard, root guard, etc. guard, you know, all those guards and all those BPDU features, um, they're all still going to be on your exam. You're also going to see plenty of security. And if you've been studying for the switch exam, a lot of this looks familiar. DHCP snooping, dynamic ARP inspection, DAI, port security, IP source guard, private VLANs, they're all still there. And you've got your first top redundancy protocols are all still going to be there. You're going to see a bunch of HSRP, VRRP, and GLBP. And all of that, frankly, all those topics are on the current switch exam. Now, on the new route exam, let's look at some of these topics that are from Cisco's outline for that exam, the new exam. Uh, IP, TCP, and UDP operations, network troubleshooting, PAP, CHAP, frame relay, PPP, ARP, DHCP, your different address types, IP version 6, static routing, default routing, routing protocols, AD, passive interfaces. Not going to read everything else on the screen, but you've got all your dynamic routing protocols, and of course we have BGP in there. Security, Telnet, DHCP, NTP, logging, all kinds of other great stuff. Well, that sounds a lot like the first route exam, doesn't it? And it really does, because when I was going through that outline for the new CCNP route exam, I had to go back to the website and double check that I had downloaded the one for the new exam, because it looked like the one for the old exam to me. And this is another reason that you should really not hesitate to start or continue your NP studies, because even if you don't get all three exams done by January 29th, the studies you've done are still valid because the main topics just frankly aren't changing that much. If you're studying static routing and default routing for the current route exam, they're not gonna start operating differently on the new route exam, right? I mean, static routing is static routing. Default routing is default routing. RIP, EIGRP, OSPF, BGP, they're gonna behave the same regardless of which exam you take. So by all means, if you're in the NP track now, keep hitting it, and if you were just getting started on it, then get started on it. Don't wait six or seven months to jump into your NP studies. Now, what about the new T-shoot exam? Well, frankly, everything you study in switch and route is going to be on that exam. Everything is fair game. What you're doing, of course, is applying what you have done, learned in switch and route, and it's more of an application test. Uh, I don't know if they'll give trouble tickets or such like they have in the past, but I would, I would guess they would. So it really doesn't matter whether you take switch or route first. That's a matter of personal preference because I'm often asked, you know, what order should I take the NP exams in? I've always given the same answer for the current track and I'm giving it for the new track. Always take T-shoot last. That's exactly what you want to do. Take switch or route first, doesn't matter, then take the other one and then take T-shoot. But I'm sure you'll agree with me, really, there's no reason for any huge amount of anxiety. You know, there's always a little with a certification exam change. But as you can see from the list here, 
Uh, the topics, frankly, just aren't changing that much. I do recommend that you go out to Cisco's website. If you just search on CCNP, you know, Cisco will be the first match. And you can go to that page. You can see the full outline for the, new th for the three new exams. You can download the PDFs and take a look at that. Uh, it's going to be a little more detailed than what I've given you here. But again, the key factor is the exam topics just aren't changing that much. So don't let it throw you. Keep on grinding. And thanks for watching this video boot camp on the new CCNP exams. I'm Chris Bryant, and I'll see you on YouTube and on Udemy.